Okay, let's calculate the price of this paper. So if we take 100,000 pounds of paper and divide it by 100, and then multiply it times a hundred weight price of 65.19 per hundred weight. 100,000 divided by 100, we move the decimal places two spaces to the left, it becomes 1,000. And when we multiply 1,000 times 65.19 a hundred weight, the total cost of the paper would be $65,190, which is a lot of paper. M sheet pricing has a very similar looking formula to hundred weight pricing. The biggest difference, however, is the values that you input. If you look at this formula carefully, you'll notice that instead of inputting the weight of the paper and dividing by 100 pounds, you're going to take the number of sheets needed and divide by 1,000 sheets because M stands for 1,000 and M sheet pricing is the price per 1,000 sheets of paper. Let's take a look at one of our previous examples. We calculated that we needed 71,000 429 sheets of 23 by 35 inch 80 pound Husky offset. If the M sheet pricing is $912 per M or per 1,000 sheets, our formula would be the number of sheets needed, not items, but press size sheets, 71,429 sheets divided by 1,000. When you divide by 1,000, you essentially move the decimal places three spots to the left. So we actually will multiply 71.429 times 912, which is the price per 1,000 sheets of paper. And when you multiply 71.429 times 912, the total cost of the paper is 65,143.25, or I guess on 25 cents. Notice that the prices that we calculated, 65,190 and 65,143, when you calculate the weight of the price of the paper using M sheet pricing or CWT pricing, it should come out very, very close. There really shouldn't be much of a difference. I would like you to use the formula for M sheet pricing and try to give this next example a shot on your own. Anita is purchasing 250,000 sheets of 80 pound Husky offset text. The stock is priced at $294 per M. How much will Anita pay for these sheets of paper?